there is a message from National Treasures. Please check it. This silver belt hook held more than its owner's robes fast to her body. It held a pledge of her troth to her lord and master, Liu Fei, prince of Jiangdu. It belonged to Cheng Yu Ying Er, one of the Western Han aristocrats' most favored concubines, and was buried with her 2,000 years ago. She took her secret oath of love and loyalty with her to the grave. The secret pledge was not revealed until 2009, 2,000 years on from her passing. The belt hook is composed of two matching halves. On the inside of each are engraved four characters, Cheng Wu Shang Wong, meaning everlasting love or forever forget-me-not. The pledge, secretly inscribed on the inside of the hook, seems to indicate that this was a special private commitment between the pair that they didn't wish to make public. Such discretion was unusual in the Han Dynasty. Characters were frequently carved or embossed onto everyday objects, but they were open to view embodying the owner's desire for good fortune, wealth, health, beauty, or love, or even to proclaim moral and ethical virtues. A bronze mirror inscribed with the words of longing for a loved one reads, In the light of day, under heaven's bright sun, even serving the great master, in all of time, we'll never forget each other. A seal carved with the words sincerity and honesty serves as an admonishment to and from its owner. They not only expressed their owner's aspirations for wealth and rank, but tackled consolations for sadness and the transience of life. The belt hook first appeared on clothing around 600 years earlier. It quickly became a fashionable item, allowing people to express their personal style. They came in all different materials and shapes. Animal designs were among the most popular, and if the hook wasn't worn with the belt, it could be used to hang other objects. Looking at this cheerful ensemble of terracotta dancers and musicians, we can imagine a fashionable crowd among whom belt hooks were there to be displayed, showing off the wearer's character and taste. In contrast, Zheng Yu Ying R's was small and quite plain in appearance. Its head is a simplified dragon head with protruding eyes and upstanding ears. The body of the hook is decorated with a gilded cloud pattern specific to the Han Dynasty. Unlike the candid expressions of the commoners, a secret oath made in a royal palace was not for display. Undue favoritism to a lowly concubine could cause ructions in the aristocratic household. Instead, the pair carried their secret together, close to the heart. Directness and secretiveness both abound in Chinese culture. The public imprecations for love and good fortune are matched by private expressions not to be shared with others. Cheng Yu Ying R's belt hook kept her secret for two millennia, hidden in an object of beauty that never left her body in life and in death. And so we remember her for her everlasting love. <laughs>